We've got oh something happened. We've got what's there? We've got the. Oh! A short one hour bullet train journey from the popular spots of Kyoto and Osaka is the small city of Himeji. The population of just over 535,000 people, this city is most famous for its Himeji castle. There's a castle, right there. Right at the end, there you go. Which at one point in the late 1500s was the biggest castle in all of Asia. This city was also made popular because it was the location shoot of the Hollywood movie The Last Samurai. So the one and only Tom Cruise has <laughs> been here as well. So Alex and I only have a short two days visiting this city, but first we have to leave Kyoto. Bye Kyoto. See you, room. Cheers. Bye. So we've got 10 minutes to spare. We made it here. I don't know how we've done it. And we managed to pick up some food as well. So it should take us about 44 minutes on the train to get from Kyoto to Himeji. We're going to head straight to the hotel, drop off our bags, and go and explore. I don't think we need to struggle finding where we're staying because this is it. <laughs> that was quick. All right, our room isn't quite ready just yet as we are a bit early. So what we're going to do is leave our luggage here, do a bit of rearranging and then head out to our first stop, which is Himeji Castle. Yoo! So if you're like us and you want to walk, it will take you about 20 minutes down Otome Dori Street, straight from Hemeji Station. You can also take the bus, which will cost you about 100 yen per person one way, or you can also take a taxi by meter, which will cost you about 750 yen. So I think these trees behind me are the cherry blossom trees. Um, unfortunately, we've missed out by like a month because around late March, early April. These are like fluorescent pink, which is why you get those beautiful photos. So why are you sitting on the floor? <laughs> what? What? Answer my question. My feet hurt. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> are they your new shoes? They're my new seven pound shoes and I love them to bits, but my feet really hurt. We have done a lot in the past three days. This is day four of our Japan trip and we're taking a rest, but we have the views of Himeji Castle in the background, so... It is amazing. It's not that bad. The sun is also out. The sun is out and it is so hot. We brought our thick puffer jackets out and when the sun is shining, well, James is sat there in a t-shirt, it's actually so warm. So we're just scoping out what we think might make a good photo with this beautiful red bridge and the castle in the background. What a sight, so beautiful. Hopefully it makes a good shot. Otherwise, it's just a nice place to hang out for the next <laughs> 15 minutes or so and admire the views. So it's a thousand yen per adult to get into the Himeji Castle. Um, there are some really nice gardens inside, so let's go take a closer look. So we have our tickets to the castle and the garden. So the gardens are actually 50 yen each, which is nothing. Wow, it's so And we're in. Sweet. Look at that view from here. It's so grand. Our legs are about to get even more achy as we go up further towards the castle. <laughs> This place is huge. For anyone that can read Japanese, just like I can, <laughs> it says big map, big castle. 
So this is Hemeji Castle. It is over 400 years old and is made up of over 80 buildings. So I guess you could spend a lot of time here just wandering around the castle and even just the grounds. You get such an amazing view from outside, but inside you can get so much closer and it's beautiful. So there's a lot of comparisons between Himeji Castle and the castle in Osaka. But I will say, even if you have seen the one in Osaka or you have seen the one in Himeji, go to both because both are really beautiful in their own way. Unfortunately, when we visited, the coronavirus had just started to break out across the world, meaning entry into the actual castle was closed to visitors. We were really gutted to miss out, but still glad that we managed to enter the grounds. So that's about our time here at Himeji. We're going to make our way to Engyoji. I think that's how you pronounce it, Engyoji Temple, which is the temple that appeared in The Last Samurai. Apparently we can get a ropeway that takes us up there, but I'm just trying to figure out if we have to get a taxi to one part of the ropeway. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll figure it out. The, the ropeway? Okay. Okay, let's go. So what I love about the taxis here in Japan is that before you even get in, the driver has a button that automatically opens the back door. So it almost feels like more of a chauffeur service than actually a taxi journey. Every single taxi journey we've got so far, all the drivers have been really polite. Although their English is probably as good as our Japanese, there's still that level of understanding. We highly recommend, if in doubt, you can just jump in a taxi. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. So we've just made it to the bottom of what looks like a mountain. Um, this is the ropeway, which will take us up to Enyoji Temple. If you are a movie buff, just like Alex and I, then this is where they shot some scenes for The Last Samurai. Oh wow, it's actually huge. There are so many buildings. Ticket machine, okay. Hopefully that's not it. Ticket <laughs> One oh, sec. Oh no. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Now, I don't speak Japanese, but this doesn't look good. I think it's closed. Oh. It's alright, we only spent 2,150 yen to, to get, get here, here from Hamaji Castle. It definitely looks like it's closed. They've covered that up with tarpaulin. Do you reckon we've missed it? Or do you well, it says, please it? wait to board. So, look, I don't know, let's try let's and ask and... someone. Okay, so... Bad news. <laughs> not great news. We just asked uh, the ticket office <sighs> about the ropeway that seems to be closed. Yeah. And unfortunately, it is. It we is. haven't missed it, the timings. It just is closed at the moment. Um, the worst news <laughs> is... <laughs> we asked how else do we get to Enyoji Temple? And he said, you can walk there. We are like, okay, uh, how do we get there? He said, you have to walk up the hill and it'll take you an hour. And we we're like, okay, thanks. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Any other day, we would. However, we have a very tight itinerary. This is day four. Our legs are already aching. <laughs> My feet hurt. It's probably gonna take us more than an hour to get to the top which doesn't give us much daylight once we get there because then we have to come back down again. So I think we're just gonna have to unfortunately write off Enyoji Temple this time around. We are gutted. I am really uh, gutted. But look, it gives us an excuse to come back to Japan, to come back to Hemeji True. and visit this temple in the future. Until then, let's get a bus back and get a beer. Bus right. is here. Oh, mate. So we are back at Hotel Nico Hemeji where we are finally going to check in. Cannot wait to put my feet up, take my shoes off, and then plan the rest of today. Where we're going to go, what we're going to have for dinner, be productive. So as I back up the content for the day, this one is asleep. Every meal we've had in Japan has been top notch. We are about to go experience what Hemeji has to offer for dinner. Alex has found a really good place to have some sushi, so let's go check it out. Four minute walk. Okay. There. 
may be a reservation required. So if that is the case, then I have a place number two. All right. It definitely doesn't require reservations. So. Well, let's go to place number one and try our luck. Let's give this place a go. Good you are. How cool is this? <laughs> So neither of us have actually been to a sushi, a sushi train star restaurant. So this is all completely new. It's going to be trial and error. We're probably going to be ordering the whole menu by accident, but oh, let's soon find out. So I think we should just go for one of those. Yeah, that looks good. Roll. Two. All has been received. How cool is that? This is so awesome. Okay, it just arrived by bullet oh, train. Do you want to take it off? I think so. Cheers, bro. <laughs> now, because for both of us, this is our first experience ever of a sushi train, we don't know if this is new or this is how other sushi trains work, but I think because we're in Japan, it's just even more epic than ever. <laughs> right, N1. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> A wasabi brain freeze. <laughs> uh, more wasabi. I'm dumb. That was so amazing. Oh. Uh, that's the pita I popped earlier. I think we can save some room for just a little bit of dessert. So I don't think there's a better way than to end the evening than with vanilla ice cream. How was it? Bye. 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 I love it here. I wish we could stay one more night just so we could come here again. So although we finished dinner, our evening has not finished. We are now off to Itate Yojo Shrine, which should be lit up with all beautiful lanterns. So we're going to get a cab there because it is about a 20 minute walk or a five minute cab journey. It told ya, yeah. Tosha. Tosha. Ah, it told ya. Tosha, okay. Arigato. Arigato. Arigato gozaimashita. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we got there eventually. Yay. Now let's hope and pray that it's open. <laughs> it's it looks not, as though it's closed. It's not looking great. We haven't had much luck today. Maybe this isn't it. I don't think this is it. Uh, should we walk a bit further up the other way? Okay. All is not lost. We think she took us just a little bit shy of where our actual destination was meant to be. So if I'm not mistaken, going by the maps, if we keep going straight, we should get to the shrine we wanted to go to. Hopefully. But we'll see. And it's closed. Unfortunately, Himeji has not been very kind to us today. We've missed out on the Engyoji Temple and now we've missed out on this Soja shine. <laughs> I think that's a correct pronunciation. We'll, we'll just have to either come back tomorrow morning or write it off and come back again in the future. So during our time here in Japan, on our Instagram stories, we were showcasing the Japanese toilets. Now we didn't know, a lot of people didn't know what to expect with the Japanese toilets. So we thought we'd give you a quick tutorial in terms of how the Japanese toilets look and operate. So some toilets are actually a little bit more sophisticated than this, where there's a, a touch panel here. In this instance, the touch panel is here. So we've got rear wash, front wash, in terms of pressure, you can clean the actual washer. You've got a deodorizer. Um, and obviously you've just got your flush button up, flush over here. Flush. And light flush. Um, I wonder if we could actually demonstrate the... Let's give it a go. It might work on a sensor basis, but we can try. The Ready? wand, so... Should we try... Yeah. What's <laughs> that one? Oh, something's happening. What's, what's this? We've got, oh, something's happening. We've got, what's there? We've got the, oh! Oh! <laughs> How do you stop it? How do you stop it? Oh. <laughs> All right, so that's the, uh, 
That's the brain. Washer. And it automatically flashes after. Um, we can't tell room service about that. <laughs> Now we didn't. Now we didn't. Now we didn't. Now we didn't know. Soja. 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 Anyone wants any Japanese lessons? Just come to me. I'm fluent. The screen is a bit dirty. Did I just see you trip up in the corner of my eye? <laughs> um, it's actually made up of. I forgot how many buildings. Well, I can't remember what I said now. No, Alex, stay away from H&M. <laughs> I knew you were looking. <laughs> you can't resist h and anywhere in the world. <laughs> Dude, I don't think going to get it in there. Great day. <laughs> 